has kept me from reaching down and eating some of this candied bacon, but I'm sure there's some in my near future. Welcome, uh, as always, to uh, our friend uh, Chef Joe Thompson uh, and Crisp Catering. Always creative and different. I love it when you come. Well, what are we doing much. today? Well, we're going to do panna cotta, which, of course, is a, an Italian dessert, which mm -hmm. means cooked cream. Right. We're going to do the panna cotta, but we're going to do, of course, a little twist on it. We can't just do the normal panna cotta. Of course. So we're going to do a little sweet corn. Corn is great this time of year in the Sacramento oh, yeah, area, boy. so we're going to use a little sweet corn. And then, of course, the candied bacon is going to come into it somewhere, as it always and does. And is, is, is this an appetizer? Is it a dessert? What is it? It's a dessert. Okay. I would keep it more on the dessert. Okay. Apple. So here's how we're going to get started. We're going to start with some milk. Okay. And we're going to start with some sugar, okay. which, of course, we want a nice sweet, of course, sweet style custard. We're basically making a custard that is that has no eggs in it. And for those who've never had a, I, I really like panna cotta, and my wife doesn't because it's not uh, it's not thickened with egg. It tends to be for me a little slippery. It, it, it and is I, a little I like slippery. that. I like that texture. Which is why we put a little bit of a corn flavor into it as okay. well. And that's what the bacon is going to be for. You got to have a little texture as well. Okay. So we've got um, the milk and sugar going in there. And then we're going to throw our corn. Basically, what we did was we just cut this right off the ears of the sure. ears of the cob. Okay. Um, and we're going to get that going. Now that's going to cook for probably about five minutes or so. What we're doing is actually pulling the cream out of the corn as okay. well. Okay. Okay. So we're trying to get all the sweetness out of that. So we're not actually going to have in our panna cotta the actual corn kernels. Okay. okay? We've just, just, we just the drawn the corny goodness out exactly. of it. Exactly. Okay. So okay. once we do that, we get that nice and hot and going. Then we're going to pour it off here and strain it. And the reason we're going to strain it is, again, we don't want the kernels in it. We just want the that cream sweet and sweet corn, corn flavor. Exactly. Okay. So we're going to pull that apart. We're going to get rid of our corn here. All right. Okay. We're going to pour that up. Then I'm going to need your help, if I'm you ready. don't mind. If you could break a couple cops for me and just throw <laughs> it in. Got there it. Go. They're both going to go in? They're both going to okay, go in. Okay. Thank you very much. Snap, snap. And then all we're going to do is let that sit for about, we're going to bring it up to a boil. Okay. Let that sit for about 30 minutes. It's going to simmer it's in there? Simmer, okay. And it's also going to pull, believe it or not, the cob has some of that cream in it as well. Okay. So we're going to pull some of that sweetness out of there as well. You know, and for, if you've never done it, if, if you cut the ear, the kernels off a of fresh ear of corn, there's so much of that w creamy. Right. It's like you coconut know. milk. It really the version yeah. of coconut milk. Okay. So then what we're going to do after that's done that for about 30 minutes, we're going to pull this out, pull the co cobs out, and then we've just got this nice sweet uh, cream. Okay. And then we're going to add some gelatin. And all I've done is put a little bit of water. A little bit of gelatin in here. Okay. And we got about a minute here, okay, Chef. Okay, that's fine. We're going to put that in there. And obviously, it's to the shape we're going to have it right now, but we're just going to stir it in there. The reason you want your gelatin in there is that's what's going to set it. Sure. If you don't have the gelatin, then you don't set. Then you have a milkshake. Exactly. Okay. So we're going to stir that all in, <laughs> and we're going to give it about, you know, probably three minutes just to get the gelatin all dissolved. Then we're going to pour it off into little ramekins. Okay. Now, we like to do things a little bit different, yes, of course. Yes, you always do. So what we've done is we've done little, appeti or little appetizer style desserts. Okay. So we've got some bent spoons here that have the panna cotta and in it. So you could be passing that exactly. at, a, at a function. Exactly. Sure. We would actually pick up this tray and use this as a passing tray. Okay. And then we've got it more set up as an actual dessert oh, boy. Uh, style. And, and I see the candied the bacon, candy, Chef. Candied bacon. Now, okay. the candied bacon, you can see how candied it is. Oh, it's yeah. just all... Brown sugar and maple. And baked in the oven? Is that all you've baked done with that? Baked in the oven, okay. that's it. Oh, Put boy. Put a little piece on there. You have, I'm so interested in this today. This is fantastic. Good. All right, and, and I have to tell you, Joe and Amma, I'll, I'll try it when you do. I've been instructed we're taking photos before I actually get in here and mess yeah. it up. So I don't get to taste it before you. But isn't it beautiful and interesting and different? Chef, I'm anxious to try this one. Chris Catering is the best. I've got uh, your website linked to Paul's Picks at fox40.com. Uh, he walks out right on your screen and talks to you at the beginning. Uh, wonderful again. Thank you very much. And, you bet, and the recipe is also available at fox40.com. Back in a flash, fellas. All right.